You might call it old reliable. The Cabris 2 unit and its twin Cabris 1 were first brought online in 1974, and now they've been pressed into greater service because of the August explosion that knocked out the Cabris 3 and 4 units next door. The granddaddy of the island-wide power system was churning out a subpar 42 megawatts, but Plant Assistant Superintendent Francis Cruz says they're working to restore it to its former glory. What we do is we do a, a boiler, turbine, generator, and, a, and its auxiliary inspection and overhauls to uh, improve the operation of the unit and bring that unit back to a full capacity, which is 66 megawatts. The extra generation capacity is important to GPA's systematic plan to return the island-wide power system back to pre-explosion baseload and reserve levels, when load shedding was more a memory than a possibility. GPA spokesman Art Perez. The more baseload generation we have online, the better we can run our fuel efficiently and pass on those cost savings to customers. And that's really what, what, what it's been about, uh, cost savings to customers. Investing in, the, in this overhaul uh, increases the, uh, the reliability and availability of the units. After this overhaul, work will begin on Cabris 1, and the pair of generators will once again form the base load backbone of the island-wide power system, just like they did 42 years ago. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Liconto.